Hi, hello, welcome to Development's Works and Worlds. We are on Monday Monk 80 something, 84. <laughs> I'm sure I will have figured it out by the time that this video posts. Welcome here. Thank you so much for spending a little time of your week here with me. I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, I think this is going to be a really fast one because I don't have a lot of news. I mean, that happens every once in a while where just nothing has changed since last week. Um, I'll cover the basics, writing and knitting and how things are going in Monkland. Uh, but I think we're going to be out of here pretty quick today, people. So let's see, how's writing going? Writing's going okay, not great. Um, but it's going okay, so I can't complain. I am still working on Nursery Crimes that is still being posted on my Patreon, Devon Monk's Secret Cafe. I will put a link to that down below if you want to take a look at what you can get for, I don't know, a couple bucks a month. You get uh, all sorts of behind the scenes stuff from me. Um, and Patreon, I know that's not quite writing, but that's been an interesting experience. I'm enjoying it so far. I want to try it for a year and then we'll see if I take it down and it's never seen again or if I continue at it. So I don't know. Let me know. Do you follow any Patreon accounts? Do you do you do a monthly subscription to people that you want to get stuff from them every month? Um, like a Patreon account? Uh, let me know. I mean, I know there's a couple other uh what are they called? Like platforms that do the same thing. So there's like Patreon, there's like Kofi or Coffee, and there's um, Gumroad, and there's uh, something called Ream, and there's a bunch of other little subscription services, even like Substack, that uh, allow people to put out m weekly, monthly, daily, whatever stuff that people can subscribe for. Um, individual creators to do it, not like you know, a big company, but just like individual people to do that kind of thing. Let me know if you follow anybody on any of those um, types of um, formats. I, I'm interested. I, I follow a couple people, but um, not a lot of people. Writers is who I follow on uh, Patreon type accounts because I, I want to see some behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> so that's what I follow. Okay. So, um, but writing is going pretty well. Uh, Nursery Crimes is chugging along. I need it to chug a little faster. We'll see if I can make it do that. And then uh, next is how is knitting going? Knitting's not going very much because I haven't had time to knit. That means I will not have a new toy for the October newsletter. I'm not sure if I'm going to put out an October newsletter if I don't have a new toy. I mean, I do have two toys that haven't been claimed. So I might go ahead and do a newsletter so that maybe one of those will get claimed. The little vampire bat toy and the little uh, dinosaur. Neither of those have been claimed, so I think I might go ahead and put my newsletter out just so that um, people can get a chance to claim, new people can get a chance to claim those toys. So uh, if that's true, if I follow through with that, with I, which I think I will, October's ending in a couple of days, so keep your eyes peeled for um, a newsletter headed your way, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. I, I will definitely let you know if it does come out. <laughs> so uh, that's knitting. Um, I might try to do some later this week we'll see if i have time we're getting into that very it seems like every time of the year is a very busy time of the year but i'm getting into some really busy times right now so we'll see how those things go um and as far as monkland monkland is going well thank you i just got all of the um sunflowers down out of the garden these are not sunflowers i have planted because any sunflower i plant dies so uh the squirrels and the uh, birds have taken pity on me and they leave sunflower seeds in the ground and it, they grow into sunflowers and do just fine they thrive like crazy like these animals these squirrels and birds and stuff are, are a pretty good record on getting sunflowers to grow so maybe i should just let them take over the whole garden planting thing right that'd be nice <laughs> anyway so the sunflowers have grown and they've blossomed and the bees love the pollen on them and then the blossoms turn to seeds and the birds love the seeds and the squirrels love the seeds and I'm sure other things like rats and stuff love the seeds but like lots of critters like the seeds and then you know autumn end of summer comes and the heads of the sunflowers get either bitten off or fall off or the whole plant falls over and all the seeds and the, and the heads of the sunflowers and big blossoms heads get carted around the yard and taken off and then and then what's left are the stalks like some of them have fallen over but that doesn't mean that their roots fell over like these sunflowers and they're taller than me they turn into like these brown and yellow stalks that have really tough roots that really hold on. So I've got to go after them with like a shovel and all my, all my, 
all my massive strength to try to get him out of the ground. But um, I was able to do that yesterday. I got all the sunflowers finally out of the garden, which they were making the garden look a little um, uh, over. I don't know how to say this. They're kind of scarecrowy. You know, they're like, they're definitely, it was time to get them down and out because it was looking a little ragged out there. So uh, those were all pulled and I got them into our yard debris barrel. So that's good. That's one more step toward the garden being put down for the um, season. We do have a few tomato plants out there that have green tomatoes on them. I don't think we're going to get any more sun. I think it's almost time to pull those. And we have a little bit of, I think, basil that's still out there. Basil, however you say it. And I definitely have some um, carrots and beets to go check. But I pulled the remaining uh, bean plants. And so that bed's done. And um, yeah, so the garden's getting uh, all put down into quiet, tucked away for the winter. And uh for it to be replanted in the spring. I did look at our rhubarb, which doesn't look like it's doing too well, but I don't know what rhubarb does. I'm unfamiliar with rhubarb and it's possible that it goes down to kind of nothing at this time and then it re, re leaves in the uh, spring. We'll see. I'm, we're going to leave it as is and then see what we get. So yeah, that and I've uh, done a little work on that front bed that I'm going to re uh, set how it's made. Um, I'm start, I took out one of our big, it's not all the way out. I just cut it down and then I'm going to have to dig it out. But, uh, I took down one of our big roses that has long lost its ability to flower without just being a wild, huge, unruly, thorny, messy bush. So like, I don't know if this is the real name for it, but my grandma used to call it that the roses have lost their graft because like certain plants are grafted together. And when the whenever she said that, what she meant is that it's gone basically to thorn and it doesn't really blossom anymore. And you just get this big thorny bush with a, and an only an occasional blossom. And this bush is really old. It's a it's a bush that my grandmother planted in this yard. So it's time for it to go, this rose. So I got it uh, taken down to the next step will be digging it out, but I'm not quite up to that yet, but pretty soon, probably this next week or so. And that'll be the kind of my, my beginning of rethinking what I want in that front bed so that it is easier to maintain. Because remember, I'm trying to simplify my yard to make things easy to maintain so that I have more time to do other things like knit and write. <laughs> if I can get some, uh, some of these things out of the way, like declutter stuff and get the yard simplified, this is the dream, people. Then, you know, I have more time to put toward writing and knitting and all those fun things, traveling, doing some more traveling and stuff. Anyway, so that's going well. And uh, carved a pumpkin, did my little pumpkin uh, Halloween carve, which was good, and had a little get together with fam, a very little bitty get together just to kind of see each other. It'd been a little while and, uh, you know, had a little food together and played a board game, something like that. And it was a good little get together. And uh, yeah, otherwise, that's it. It's, I mean, is this the most boring video you've ever seen? Because I mean, because it could be, this could be like literally <laughs> the most blase video that's ever been made on YouTube, which uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> not every one of the videos is going to be a winner, right? <laughs> but I still appreciate you spending a little time here with me. Um, so how about you? Do you have plans for the season coming up? Uh, we have big, uh, uh, let's see, in America, I think Canada already had their Thanksgiving, right? But here in, in North America, or in, in America, um, obviously Canada is in North America, but in America, the United States of America, um, Thanksgiving's coming up. So that's going to be a thing. Going to have to do some cooking for that. And then we roll into the winter holidays, all the solstice and Christmas and Hanukkahs and all the exciting winter holidays. So let me know if you've got plans coming up for any of that good stuff. Um, I don't have any plans. I am behind in that. So I have not planned. Maybe I'll do that too this week. We'll see. I bet I won't. I bet I'm not going to plan. <laughs> I bet I'm going to put it off to the last minute. That sounds more like me. <laughs> Are you like that? Do you put all that kind of big event stuff that you know comes around every year? Do you put it off to the last minute? <laughs> I often do. 
<laughs> okay. Anyway, until I see you next time, I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, that the season is being good to you. And hopefully I will have some updates that are more interesting next week. We'll see. Uh, and I'll let you know if that newsletter is coming out. And until then, be well. I'll see you soon.